there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so today in this video, I wanted to address the reason for relationships, okay? Because many of us seem confused as to what relationships are really for, what they're really about. And so having conversations with different people, I realize okay that many times we have friends or we have relatives you know family and we expect them to behave in a certain way okay so because of our connection because of our friendship or because of our connection as family okay we expect you know that they're going to treat us in a certain way now what we need to understand about relationships is that sometimes these people in our lives will go through things okay that we cannot possibly understand what it is that they're going through unless we ourselves are going through exactly the same thing okay so it doesn't matter how many years you've had this friendship or how many years you've had this person in your life okay sometimes things will things will happen okay that will cause this person to react with anger many times this anger will come from a fear they're afraid you know they've, they've just lost someone someone has passed away they've lost this person and then a fear takes over this fear of loss will suddenly take over and we manifest that in many different ways it can manifest as an anger towards you especially if you're someone they're very close to and they feel comfortable they can suddenly become angry at you because of this loss you know many times we feel angry when someone passes away that's one way that we deal with this loss it's our way of grieving it's a way of grieving okay so don't take it as a personal attack towards you if they're showing anger towards you okay or if suddenly they shut you out of their lives okay they, they close that door they stop answering your phone calls they stop answering your Facebook messages and they don't want to have contact with you okay it's not a personal attack on you that you've done something wrong it's just that this is what that person needs at that time and many times we have to understand that relationships don't need to be for a whole lifetime you know we seem to think and hold on to this relationship like it has to be with us until we pass away until our last day to be here you know and the beauty of relationships is that sometimes a person can come into your life for two minutes and that two minutes can have an impact on you on how you feel about yourself on how you view the world a relationship doesn't have to be for many years it doesn't have to be for a whole lifetime we just hang on to them like they need to be so understand that sometimes you will come into a person's life or people will come into your life and it's just for a short time it's not forever because in that short time that you're together you will exchange something and you each get to grow and you each get to learn about who you are you know if you've gone out of your way to help this friend then you've learnt how caring and how loving you can be you know so you've done the best that you can you've given the best that you can and this is for all those people who have friends that all of a sudden these friends stop talking to them they don't want to have contact with you anymore and we kind of sit there and we don't understand what did we do wrong or what didn't we do that this person is now upset with us they don't want to talk to us anymore they don't want to have us in their lives anymore and the truth is that that relationship has passed 
Okay, the purpose of the relationship, what you each needed to get out of that relationship is done. You've given each other what you needed. And it's time to, you know, move on to another relationship. Uh, the way I understand this is that when I went through my IVF and I was in the hospital and I was there for almost two weeks, the people I expected to show up didn't. You know, the closest family that I had, I was expecting they were going to come because it was the only family I had here in Australia. They didn't make the time to come and see me. They were too busy. But in those two weeks, I was absolutely blown away and surprised by the people that did show up to come and see me. You know, the people that cared and I didn't know that they cared about me that much to make that effort because some of these people were coming from quite far away to see me, but they made the time. So it's also about appreciating who it is that you have in your life right now, who it is that needs your love and attention right now, rather than being upset because that relationship has ended or that relationship, that person no longer needs you in their life. They've, they have others now. They're working on different parts of who they are. So they need other people to help them grow in that way. But as these people move out of your life, there will be others. Or maybe there's always been people right there in front of you that needed your love and attention all along. And we've never stopped to look at them. We never stopped to give them the time because we were too busy with these other relationships, too busy with other people. So never stop and mope about, oh, you know, they're no longer my friend or they no longer want to talk to me. Just appreciate the wonderful times that you did have together, the connection that you had with that person. And look at who you can connect with today. Who's there right in front of you right now? Rather than looking at what you've lost, look at what's right there right now because there'll be someone else that needs you right now. And it may be the person you least expect. It could be your spouse. You know, in my case, it could be my husband. It could be my mother. It could be someone else moves into that place. Someone else needs your love, needs your attention. So open your eyes and rather than get upset or start to feel that you've done something wrong, you did the best you could. You gave them the best that you could. You know, just be grateful that you have that time together and look at all the things that you've learned about yourself from that friendship, from that relationship and give them their space. They just need space, you know, to have other relationships, to have other friendships, people that will help them grow in different ways. You don't have to be there for the whole trip. All right, my darlings? All right. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Please share the videos. You never know who this message might reach today that really, really needs to hear this. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.